Let's go over some genetics vocabulary. First word we should talk about in genetics would be gene. A gene is a section of DNA that codes for a particular trait in an organism. Now, a gene can come in different alleles, which are going to be different forms of that trait. Kind of think of alleles as flavor for the gene ice cream. So if you have, if you're talking about the gene for hair color, you could have blonde hair, brown hair, red hair. If you're talking about the gene for eye color, you could have brown eyes, blue eyes, hazel, green. You've got lots of different alleles you can deal with. So a gene is going to code for a particular trait, and an allele is going to be the different forms of that trait, still found on that same spot of DNA, however. Now we can have dominant alleles or recessive alleles. A dominant allele is going to always be shown, always be expressed, if it is present. It's going to cover up that recessive allele. Dominant alleles are always shown by a capital letter. So if you see a capital letter in whatever problem you're working on, you know that there's a dominant allele present and that's going to be the one that is expressed. You can also have a recessive allele, which is the one covered up or masked, unless it is all by itself, and then you will see that recessive allele. Blue eyes, blonde hair, those are examples of recessive alleles. Now your alleles can be expressed in two different ways. You can have homozygous or heterozygous. Remember, in alleles, you're going to have one from your mom and one from your dad, so you always have two. If it's homozygous, they're going to be the same. So you can have homozygous dominant, so it'll be, say, capital B, capital V, or it can be homozygous recessive, where it's lowercase b, lowercase v. Both mean the same. Homozygous, same. Remember, homosexual is always going to like the same sex, so homozygous is going to be the same, whether they be capital letters or lowercase letters. Heterozygous means different. So you're going to have one big letter and one lowercase letter. The dominant allele will still be expressed, but you're going to have one of each in that gene for that person. Heterosexual is like different sex. Heterozygous means different. One capital letter, one lowercase letter. The other two words you definitely should know are genotype and phenotype. If you're ever asked for the genotype of something, you want to give the letters, big B, little b, big B, big B, little b, little b, the letters of the gene that they're talking about. If you're asked for the phenotype of an individual, you want to tell me in words what's going on. They have brown eyes, they have blonde hair, they have, the plant is tall, words that describe what is going on. So that's some vocab review for you guys. Hopefully that made sense for you guys. And the next video we'll go through a couple of Punnett squares. Thanks for watching.